Hey y'all, welcome back to Cooking with Hannah Soul, and today we're going to be making chicken pot pie. But before we get into the recipe, go hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you never miss a video. Now this is one of my childhood favorites y'all, so it is near and dear to my heart. So we're going to start with our butter and we're going to go ahead and melt that down. And don't worry, as always, the full recipe and measurements are going to be listed below in the description box so that you can go ahead and cook right alongside me. You you're gonna go ahead and toss in some diced onions and celery and sweat those down. Once they are about two to three minutes, go ahead and add in your flour to make a roux. Once you got your flour all cooked down, because we wanna get that flour taste out of there, and we do wanna make sure it's well combined. So once we get that done, we're gonna go ahead and add in our warm chicken broth, but we're gonna do it in batches because we wanna make sure we get all those clumps out and get that real smooth velvety texture that we're looking for. Next up, we're gonna add in a half a cup of heavy cream and then combine that. And then we're gonna season this baby on up. And again, don't forget, the full recipe and measurements are linked below in the description box. Now the good thing about recipes is you can always season it to your liking. So do whatever floats your boat when it comes to seasonings, but I do recommend that you give mine a try. And then once you got it all combined, y'all, I'm all about convenience. We're gonna be using some frozen peas and carrots. Go ahead and toss those in. And we wanna get those well combined and let them start to defrost in the sauce. And then we're gonna take a rotisserie chicken that we chopped up and add it inside and give it a quick little stir. Now, I usually keep me some pie crust on hand in the freezer, but I didn't have any, so I'm gonna be using some already made pie crust. And I like crust on the bottom and the top because that top layer do not be enough. So we're gonna go ahead and just cut out our dough to fit our baking dish so that we can place it down in there and then load it up with all that goodness, y'all. Now, as y'all can see, I did not go to art school, so it does not have to be perfect. Just do your best. <laughs> Once you got that all done, go ahead and spoon in that goodness. And we don't want to fill this too high because they will bubble over in the oven. Plus you wanna give it room for this puff pastry sheet that we're gonna put on top. Now you're just gonna go ahead and cut that to fit and cut it all around. Once you got your dough all cut, go ahead and use your fork to crimp the sides. Now, if you're fancy, you can do a little bit more right here, but that's not me. <laughs> but then go ahead and just brush a thin layer of egg wash on top. Cut a few slits in the top so it vents as it's cooking. Throw it in the oven on 425 for about 25 minutes. Now, if you notice that it's browning too fast, just lightly put a piece of foil on top and let it continue to cook. And then you can broil the top if you need to. But other than that, y'all, we are done no need for plating i hope y'all enjoyed because as always i did don't forget to go follow your girl on instagram and tiktok or purchase one of my ebooks all the links are going to be below in the description box and until next time bye y'all